Hello students in this video i will teach you poetry number 7 from beehive the name of the chapter is the duck and the kangaroo i'll read out the stanzas line by line and explain it to you in case there are doubts please feel free to ask them please open your books and read along with me so that you understand better i'll start with reading the stanzas and explaining now said the duck to the kangaroo good gracious how you hop over the fields and the water too as if you never would stop my life is a bore in this nasty pond and i long to go out in the world beyond i wish i could hop like you said the duck to the kangaroo so in this stanza the duck is awestruck to see the movement of the kangaroo he loves to see how the kangaroo moves he hops it expressed that the kangaroo could hop continuously over the fields and the water bodies the duck's life was boring as it remained in the pond all the time it wished to see the world beyond the limits of the pond it wishes that it could hop like the kangaroo moving on to the next stanza please give me a ride on your back said the duck to the kangaroo i would sit quite still and say nothing but quack the whole of the long day through and we'd go to the dee and the jelly bolly over the land and over the sea please take me a ride o oh do said the duck to the kangaroo so in this stanza the duck requests the kangaroo to give it a ride on its back it promised that it would sit quietly and would just quack all day the duck lists the places that they would visit as d and jelly bolly it adds that they would hop over the land and the sea next stanza said the kangaroo to the duck this requires some little reflection perhaps on the whole it might bring me luck and there seems but one objection which is if you let me speak so bold your feet are unpleasantly wet and cold and would probably give me the rheumatiz said the kangaroo so rheumatiz over here means it refers to a disease the kangaroo replied that it had to think over it the idea could be good for him but he had an objection that the duck's wet and cold feet could give it body pains so because of the disease that is mentioned in the stanza the body pains moving on to the fourth one said the duck as i sat on the rocks i have thought over that completely and i bought four pairs of worsted socks which fit my web feet neatly and to keep out the cold i have bought a cloak and every day a cigar i'll smoke all to follow my own dear true love of a kangaroo cloak means shrug the duck here in the stanza the duck said that as it sat on the rocks during the day it had thought over it in order to avoid that the duck had bought four pairs of worsted socks which fitted its web shaped feet well in order to stay warm it would wear a shrug and also smoke a cigar every day the duck would do all this to protect the kangaroo as it was a beloved friend now moving on to the last stanza said the kangaroo i'm ready all in the moonlight pale but to balance me well dear duck sit steady and quiet at the end of my tail so away they went with a hop and a bound and they hopped the whole world three times round and who so happy o oh who as the duck and the kangaroo so in the stanza the kangaroo was satisfied with the duck's response and got ready for the ride at night when the sky was filled with the pale light of the moon they started their trip with a hop the kangaroo asked the duck to hold it firmly and they traveled around the world three times both of them enjoyed each other's company here the poetry comes to an end it's a very simple poetry about the friendship of a kangaroo and duck and how the duck wanted to hop like the kangaroo everything has been explained in case there is anything any stanza or any sentence that you did not understand please feel free to clear your doubts that's it for the chapter and the video thank you so much for the patience all of you